like being able to live this like holiday lifestyle is the best thing about Thailand. Being able to take time in your everyday life and go to the pool is just priceless. Going for lunch at Papa's. Nina's already there. Hello. Oh, that looks nice. Thank you. She is referring to my mom's old Nightgown. On a close up shot of my food. I'm helping with content. <laughs> what a great, unique idea. Okay, let me take if a close up. you ever wonder where all the unique <laughs> ideas. ideas come from, this hat, who would have thought? Who would have thought? She came up with an amazing idea to film food. OMG. I don't think anyone has ever done that on YouTube. I think. Special thanks. Okay, thank you for that great content, Nina. Thank you. This is basically what our lunch spot looks like. It looks like a trash can. <laughs> it's nice though, the food is nice. Probably not the most hygienic place on earth. Yeah, but it hasn't made me sick yet. Yeah, but at the same and time, not the worst. Like, yeah, yeah, because I think like we would possibly get sick quite easily or yeah. get like food yeah. poisoning quite easily. Um, but yeah, never happened to me. No. Or actually, like you know, because I lived here for like almost half a year, and I don't really, I didn't know anyone who would get sick like here. I mean, people would obviously get sick in Thailand, but actually, never happened to me. Oh yeah, it's much bigger than at Mama's. That's why Nina and I yesterday we decided we're going to Papa's because we used to eat lunch at Mama's like every day, but then our portions were so small, so we're like, we need a little bit of more food. Done with lunch and now we're walking to this shopping mall nearby the place where we live to do some work at Starbucks. I know Starbucks, but you know what? They have coffee and they have very good AC. And also, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what, what are the other reasons. So we still have approximately 10 days before we have to hand in our thesis. So basically, oh my god, <laughs> basically our exciting life in Thailand right now is all about sort of either sitting at home and writing pieces or finding other places we can go to to write our pieces. Soon this madness is done and I can fully, I mean soon, soon, not really soon because we have to hand in then we have to defend it, but I will have a little bit more time to just like enjoy Thailand and film more videos. We made it. Oh my god, I can already feel that AC. That AC. Look how nice this Starbucks is. Use for Starbucks. <laughs> Look at that little lonely palm tree. Feel your palm tree. Say hi to the vlog. <laughs> I cannot zoom on Anchi's face anymore when she's near me, but I can still do it miles away. <gasps> Yeah, no, I was really interested because the squirrel is like black, but then it has a white tile. As tile. Squirrel. Squirrels. <laughs> Good that we speak English as we're writing our pieces in English. Also, Nina said something really funny yesterday. She comes to my room and then she goes like, you know, I made this, how did you say it? <laughs> the bell. <laughs> I don't know, it's so funny, but it's funny the way you said it. You're like, 
this Cabell. I think I, I know I was talking or typing and you were like, is that English? When? I don't know, but it happened. And I saw it. Yes. And you were like, is that English? And I'm like, <laughs> I just want to say hi to my viewers. Okay, just look at Nina and just look at me. Who has been in Thailand for a month? Who has just arrived in Thailand? <laughs> Nina, you don't have anything more to say? Go and work. <laughs> Go back to your seat now. <laughs> no, but honestly, you guys look how beautiful this view is. I have. <laughs> Not this view. This view. Be completely honest with you, I'm kind of happy that I came to Thailand now and not like in the beginning process of writing this thesis because it is very hard to focus here because there's just so much like even sitting here I just want to like stare and think about you know these palm trees or like you know whatever <laughs> I don't want to sit and be on my computer. So writing a thesis in Thailand might not possibly be the best idea, but I mean, I'm also not the worst idea. To <laughs> be completely honest. Okay, I'm going back to work. Bye. Hey guys, I haven't talked to you for a while, so I thought I'll pick up the camera. I'm currently in my gym clothes, as you can see, back from the gym, eating some lunch from Mama's. Mama was really kind to me today. Today I got like six shrimps, which never happens. That's an annoying thing about like street food in Thailand. You might order a dish with shrimps or whatever, and then you get like free most of the time the other day nina got two and then yeah she wasn't very happy i mean obviously the food is really cheap so it's like all right but then on the other hand it's like you would prefer to pay a little bit more and actually get a little bit more proteins because otherwise you just keep eating like noodles and rice because there is basically like no vegetables in it Since I talked to you the last time, I discovered one more shrimp in my dish and I was like, what is this? What is this day? Seven shrimps. Crazy. I decided that you simply cannot live without seeing me going for a walk in my neighborhood. And you might be thinking, I already did that in my last vlog. No, but you know what? I went the other way in my last vlog. In this vlog, I'm gonna go different way, okay? So you're gonna see different area of my neighborhood. Okay, for all my Thai subscribers, if I have any Thai subscribers, what is this? What is this tree? So Nina and I, we said the other day that it's figs, but clearly they're not figs. You know what would be my wild guess? Jackfruit or something? I don't know. Today I'm also in a pretty good mood because I finally edited my first video in one month. So basically in a whole month, I haven't edited anything. I I filmed a little bit, but only a little bit, uh, but I haven't edited it at all and It got to the point where it, like start bothering me because in the beginning I was just busy then I was sick then I was traveling and then I just Couldn't get myself to edit which is very weird in my case because Filming videos and editing is like my biggest passion and it's definitely not something I have to force myself to do because I mean why would I force myself to do it I don't know it's something that comes to me very like easily and it's definitely I mean I don't remember the last time I had a one month break from editing it's like kind of crazy and the reason why I was not editing um, it's not even because I don't have time I mean you can always find time I hate when people blame whatever on lack of time because the truth is you can always spend like half an hour less watching something on youtube and actually edit your video or whatever you know what i mean 
the reason okay it's very crowded here very loud i will just sit here for a second because i want to talk to you um so basically what i wanted to say is that the reason why i didn't make any videos for the past month which is not normal for me at all the past Past year, I would say the whole 2018, I was making videos constantly. I did have some breaks when I have exams or whatever, when I'm traveling, but there was no month in 2018 besides December where I have not made any videos. The reason why I haven't made any videos is not because I don't feel inspired. I have so many ideas, I have so many inspirations. I just feel like I don't have enough time and like means or whatever to make all the videos that I want to make. So like the inspiration is not an issue as well. My main is my main issue this month was feeling like what I was doing was just not good enough. And that I think is something whoever likes to be creative or create anything really can relate to. Uh, doesn't matter if it's like I don't know, painting, writing. Um, you create stuff and then you're just not happy about it you just don't feel like it's ever good enough and that's how i feel with my videos um obviously there are videos that i made that i like more than the others um but in general it's just such a struggle for me to be satisfied about my work and i know that you will never be like 100 percent satisfied I, I i know that that's the way it is in life and you can always make things better and all that last month it's just been really hard for me to sort of like come to terms with the fact that I I don't know <laughs> I'm just I'm just not doing things that are good enough not up to my own standards I really want my videos to be better but the thing is I know myself that there's only one way that I can make it better and that's by doing by doing and constantly trying to improve myself um, and not making videos will not help me to get better. So yeah, I don't know. I just thought I'll, I'll talk to you about it because I do think that a lot of people can relate to this, that sometimes the fear of not doing things well enough, not living up to our own standards, is stopping us from doing things that we love and things that we really want to do. And it's annoying because, you know, I want to make videos. I, there's nothing I want to make more than videos. And I kept thinking about it every single day. I was like, okay, today I will edit, today I will edit. And then I was just so unhappy about what I was doing. I was like, I'm not filming well enough. I'm not editing well enough. What I'm saying is freaking boring and irrelevant. And oh, I love Highland. Don't love the cars though. I, I swear I'm gonna be so excited for the day. If the day will ever freaking come. Oh my God, what am I doing? Oh, I don't wanna die. Um, I'll be very excited for the day when they will like, forbid cars or whatever no they cannot forbid cars but if they will like do something with the amount of cars in bangkok because it's honestly nachos it is nachos shanghai is quiet and peaceful comparing to this probably vlogged enough thank you so much for watching thank you for 